I wish to add an end cap to this face of my part. So I'm going to zoom in, I'm going to pre-select the face, and then from the weldments ribbon, I'm going to select end cap. And here, what faces I want end cap, this face will already be pre-selected. Now I have three options for an end cap. The dotted line will show you how it's added. This option here, the default one, will not change the length of the tubing, but add the end cap thickness to the length. If I switch to this one, the tubing will be shortened by the thickness of the end cap, and the cutlass will be updated. This option here will allow me not to shorten the tube, but to place it inside of the tube as an end cap. For this particular part, I'm just going to add it on top. I'll go with the default thickness of 5 mil, and then I'll come down to the offset options. The offset values allow me to use the thickness ratio or an actual value. I'll stick with the thickness ratio, and what this does is half the thickness of the part is offset to allow a weld bead here. I can also flip its direction so that the weld bead is added around here. I'm going to put it back and if I make it smaller you can see how it changes or if I make it larger again we can see how it changes. I'm going to put it back to the default of 0.5 and then I'm going to turn on the corner treatments. Since my tubing is round I would like a chamfer here and with the corner treatment on I have two options. I can create a chamfer or a fillet. I'm going to do a chamfer and here I'll set the size to 5 mil. So I've created my end cap. I'm going to accept these and I'll continue on. 